yesterday, I think, was International Men's Day. Oh, yeah. Um, and a call was made for more men to be mentors for at-risk male adolescents in Jamaica. Now, the mentors are required for an upcoming mentorship program, Mentor Me 2020. It's an initiative of the Bureau of Gender Affairs, which is a division of the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport. Um, speaking at the Fellowship Tab Tabernacle in Kingston on Sunday, the Minister Without Portfolio in the Ministry, um, Senator Pernell Charles Jr., says we will assign mentors to each participant and track their progress over a specific period, as well as uh, promote a robust and sustained social protection strategy. The Senator said that uh, a special service desk for men um, provides sensitization and awareness raising on a range of issues that affect men and boys. I quote, support has been provided to situate men in the gender discourse locally, as well as support the involvement of men to eliminate gender-based violence, which is fantastic. Which is the next one? Well, we spoke at the top of the show about making history and another historical moment was when Jamaican Rose Hudson Wilkin was consecrated as a Church of England's first black female bishop by people, the first black woman to become a Church of England bishop. Now that, that's, it, you know. It's incredible. That's, in, that's history. Um, not sure if I want to be no English bishop, but this is history and it's an achievement and a milestone and especially looking at our history. I always say, when you think about your history and how they hated us so much, you know what I'm saying? For England to, to do this, like, yeah, things are getting better, I guess, for us. I don't know if this is a representation of, you know, discrimination is over, life is better for black people in England. I don't know, but this is good news for her because it's a big deal. And I hope they're paying her. <laughs> do you get, you get paid as a big bishop, right? <laughs> I've, I've never been a bishop. So anyway, I let's just know. say congratulations, Jamaican Rose really, Hudson. I in the Catholic Church, they take a, a, an oath of poverty. They can't own anything. I know that. I don't know, I don't know about that. After Anglican everything Church. Mansa Musa did for us, after everything Haile Selassie did for us, after all of the wealth that Africa has done, me. Uh, well, they, they choose that, though. It's, it's, not, it's not pushed on them. They choose that. What's your friend? And yeah, they're looked after. It. And if you notice, all the, 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 the nuns, they all wear a wedding band. With marriage to God. I mean, I hear that. Yeah. But you still want some money. Huh? But you still want some I money. I just know marriage to God must be much easier than marriage to some of them money. <laughs> 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 like that one day. Imagine, you have a choice. Marriage to God, marry God, or marry this same man. Yeah. Yeah, Never no, I, I agree. Choose. Come on, think I about it. I agree, marry God. Think about it. You want an easy life? No, Marry. I agree. I agree with you. Marry, Marry God. God. I agree. <laughs>